everyone, welcome back to Miss Faya's class. Today in science lesson, we are going to learn about shorting animals into groups. Are you ready to learn? Let's we learn together. All right. So before we learn about shorting animals into group, let we know first about shorting living things into groups. All right. There is a wide variety of living things around us. Scientists have short them into groups to make easier to learn about them. This process is called classifying. Living things are placed in the same group because they have same features. Okay, so we can classify living things into four main groups. What are they? First, animals. Second, plants. Third, fungi. Fourth, monera. Okay, so now let's we learn how to shorten animals into groups. Here we go. One way that scientists group animals is to look at the animal's bone structure. Animals can be grouped as either vertebrates or invertebrates. Let's talk about them one by one. Alright. Animals with internal body skeletons or inside their body are called vertebrates. Here we go, the, pi the picture. Ah, this is the example of vertebrates. Okay, this is cow skeletons inside their body. Alright, animals with either a skeleton outside their bodies or no skeleton at all are called invertebrates. For example, jellyfish, no skeleton at all, and crab, skeleton outside their bodies. So, how about humans? Alright, humans are vertebrates too because have internal body skeletons. All right, so now let's talk about vertebrates. There are five groups of vertebrates. One, mammals. The example of mammals are camel, monkey, whale, and rabbit. Two, fish. The example of fish are catfish, shark, goldfish, manta ray, and seahorse. Three, bird. The example of bird are eagle, chicken, parrot, and duck. 4. Amphibians. The example of amphibians are frog, salamander, and thought. 5. Reptiles. The example of reptiles are snake, crocodiles, lizard, and tortoise. Alright, now let's learn about invertebrates. Some group of invertebrates are 1. Insects. The example of insects are bee, spider, and butterfly. 2. Mollusca. The example of mollusca are snail and squid. 3. Echinoderm. The example of echinoderm are starfish, sea cucumber. 4. Annelid. The example of annelid is worm. Let's we learn about common features of mammals. Mammals bodies are covered by fur or hair for warmth and protection. Most mammals give birth to live young. Mammals have lungs for breathing. Female mammals produce milk to feed their young. Alright, next, common features of fish. Fish bodies are covered in scales. You can see in the picture. Most fish lay eggs. Fish have gills for breathing. Here we go, the gills. Fish have fins and tail to help them swim. All right. Next, common features of birds. Birds' bodies are covered with feathers. Birds eat with their beaks and fly with their wings. However, not all birds can fly. Birds lay eggs with shells. 
Next, common features of amphibians. Amphibians can live on land and in water. Their skin is moist and can absorb water and oxygen. They lay eggs in the water. Young have gills and adult have lungs. Next, common features of reptiles. Reptiles' bodies are covered by scales to keep them dry. Usually, lay eggs that are covered by a tough, leathery shell. All right. Okay, that's all for today, everyone. I hope you can understand about our topic today. Thank you for watching and see you again. Bye-bye.